Today I'm going to be reviewing this Solium or Solium Pan Tilt Wireless Security Camera. And the reason why it's wireless is it actually it's going to be solar powered. So I thought that was a really cool feature. The brand did go ahead and send this to me at my request. And I wanted to test this out. We don't have like any electrical outlets, just like one electrical outlet on the outside of our entire house. So having a solar powered security camera, I thought was a really cool thing to test out. So let me open up the box, show you everything to get inside, and then I'll also get it installed. So a couple of things I ran into. First of all, the way they designed this Solium to mount makes absolutely no sense. So there's no way to screw in your four screws on the back here without taking it apart. The problem with taking it apart is it is all wired in together. So I have to have hold this with one hand while I'm then putting a screw in with this hand. I had to take out those four screws on top to then be able to mount it. Like it makes no sense why they don't have it where either the, this back plate disconnects or this part disconnects because the way they have it designed makes it where you quite literally cannot install it without disassembling the camera. Because there's no way to get these, screw, these screws in because this thing is hanging down really close. So whoever designed this didn't actually test out screwing this into anything. Because this either needs to be further away or this needs to connect in some other way so you can mount this base plate in, in additional way. It's not like there's a base plate on the back that this thing connects to. No, your screws are just designed to go straight through this back part, but there's no way to actually get any screwdrivers in that you could get the top but not at those two bottom ones because this is how it goes and it's only going to be that far away so that's really really frustrating second frustrating thing with this one is it does require a sim card now it comes with a sim card so that's no big deal the issue is it will not work unless you have the sim card put in so you have to find the sim card and do that before you ever do anything it took me about five times to reconnect it to realize that the sim card had to be in first before this turned on so once that was then turned on then it connected fine to the app on my phone but again just the way they set it up just doesn't make a whole lot of sense so now i've got to hold on to this while i try and hold the drill and mount this as well so i just ran into another problem with this and the problem is since this has to mount on top and i'm mounting it here on my porch where it comes out a little bit it doesn't fit because it's supposed to sit inside of this thing rather than having its own mounting hardware Again, just frustrating. It's like they didn't test it in the real world. It makes no sense why you would have to mount this on top. They've even got a cord, right? So all they had to do was include a mounting bracket and I could mount it right here. I could mount it right next to it instead of having to mount it on top of it, but they don't include anything. So now I'm gonna have to take this, take this back apart because I put this top back together again, take this back apart so I can unscrew these four screws so I can then move it down even further than what it is because it's too close up here to the top. Again, I don't know who designed this, but it in theory looks good. But when you're actually going through the assembly process, running into all sorts of just nitpicky issues that should have been figured out during the design process. So I'm here inside of the app now, as you can see, and then I can also go in and make this larger just by pushing on that. So then it goes to the full screen and then you can adjust it left or right just by pushing the button. Now it does take a minute for the video feed to update. So I pushed right and then it took probably five seconds or so. When you push left or right, I'm standing out here right by the camera and it does move the camera immediately, but it just takes a minute for the video feed to update. So overall, I love where it's going to be mounted at, like the fact that I can then turn it, adjust it, have it set to where it just triggers uh, motion so it sends me notifications. The fact that it's solar powered, I absolutely love. I just don't know why they did made the installation so stinking hard. Like all they had to do was add another flange out to the side, so make this wider or make it taller so you could easily mount it from the top and from the bottom or just make it where this thing comes where it's easily disconnected. You know, maybe put it on a hinge or something so this can swing out of the way. I don't know why they decided to make it so incredibly difficult just to install it. And the same thing with the solar panel. Like all they had to do was include a bracket. It's already got the cord. It'd be so much easier just to mount it next to it if somebody wanted to. And they just didn't include that in there. So overall, it's a good product in regards to usage, design, how you have to assemble it, install it. That sort of thing is definitely an issue.